Hey Pisces, welcome to your general reading. I hope you are all doing well. For those of you that are new, I am an intuitive. So some of what you see may not be traditional. Just take it as it resonates for you. Roles can be reversed. Could be old energy. Could be new energy. All right. Could be third party. You will know best. For those of you that are returning, thank you. I appreciate you so much. You do not even know. You are the reason I continue to come back. Please make sure you remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. That is how the channel gets out there to those that need the message, as well as it's a give back to the channel to help us grow. Okay, so for the collective, <laughs> spirits like, don't burn the bridge, okay? You may not be saying what you want to say, or you may not be speaking at all, but there is a message coming, okay? Spirit Guide is telling, going to tell you what direction to take. They're like, just patient, okay? Be patient. In the meantime, do not set this bridge ablaze, okay? The intention here is that, yeah, something's coming to a completion, right? See, all the blue energy again. Don't say what you want to say right now wait until you come into this harmony okay heart and mind aligning and you'll know then exactly what to say okay so let's get going we're going to look at the overview the past the current future energies okay for pisces Pisces, okay? Six of Wands, Five of Earth. I feel like you feel like you're in a race, okay? To move into this new energy, new spring in my step, uh, rebirth, right? But all the help you need is yours. Okay, there's, this is not a race, okay? This is not a race and you don't need to feel that sort of energy. Spirit's saying here, two of earth, okay? And with the two of initiation, you're on the right path. Angel number 22, okay? Just hunker down, take your time, don't get into your head, right? Lean into your reflection. Let yourself tell you what you need. Um, something is going to arrive kind of curiously, but it's going to be exactly what you are waiting for. In the past, okay, you may have been really emotionally let down. Maybe feeling like what you wanted, that wish, just didn't come. But it takes time for that wish to actually kind of populate into your realm. It's important for you to know. Now, currently, you may not be doing all that great because all of your current cards came out in reverse. So we've got, okay, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So you are not feeling grounded at home, okay? Three of cups in reverse, okay? You feel like there are no blessings coming forward, like you're not getting the support you need. Nine of cups in reverse, okay? Again, two cards here of not feeling grounded at home, 
okay? Feeling like, right, it's just a lot of overwhelming energy because we've got the Ten of Cups in reverse where you're looking for something to come out of the darkness. Um, there's like a fear of what next. Future energy here, though, eight of fire, two of fire. That's when the cycle completes, okay? You'll know what to say about the situation, about how things are not coming together the way you want them to. Maybe things aren't growing. Maybe there's an entanglement that you need to address, but everything's going to show up in the future. And it will complete the cycle. Okay, so let's go ahead and clarify. Tell me about this race with the five of earth. Okay, yeah. There's the ace of swords. There's a lot going on in your head right now. And it is about the new cycle that's coming. But again, it's just... It's an overwhelming feeling for you. It's like a laser through the brain. And it's making you want to go faster than you need to. Okay. Six of fire. Yeah. All right. You have all the help you need. Four of pentacles. If you're worried about money, spirit's like, don't worry. Okay. Don't get into the fear of money and the fear of stability because that doesn't help you because honestly then you create that instability when in truth with the six and the four okay finances are going to be fine all right that's a 10 finances are going to be fine okay two of earth resting here again hangman wait rest Okay, Spirit says heal. All right, you are nearing the end of a long journey. For some of you, maybe you still have a little bit of that long journey to go. And Spirit's like, bide your time, right? It's kind of like <laughs> when my daughter did the Scouts Fitness, right? Like they told her. You know, you don't want to take off so fast and then not be able to keep up. And she was like, oh, yeah, watch me. And she about killed herself making that run. Okay, so take your time. You're going to need your energy. Okay. Initiation here. Okay, yeah. I feel like. You need to get out of the fear mentality so that you can get the messages that you need to. Yeah. Okay. Because there is manifestation going on here. But with the high priestess and the magician, there may be a wait here. Right? You're waiting for someone to come forward that's manifesting the same thing as you. Five of swords. Someone is still a little bit in their ego. Right? So you kind of have to just let go of where you're at right now. They're like, let go, let God. Okay? So tell me about this wish in the past. Yeah, you could have been seeking love. Okay? And passion. And what you got was some heartache. Okay, Queen of Cups with the Queen of Wands and the Four of Swords. I almost feel like, in part, you just weren't really specific with your wish. Sometimes we're, we say we're wishing for one thing, but we actually want another. Like, you could have been like, Universe, I just want love. And what you were actually wanting was the passionate part of it. Like, maybe you already had a partner, but you wanted the passion, or you really wanted the love, and then you got sex, and you didn't get the love. So there could have been, like, you know, a, 
mixed signals, sort of an energy. And now you're trying to heal your heart. So, current energy. Why are you not feeling grounded at home right now? Okay, King of Wands with the Seven of Swords in reverse. You could be keeping an eye on your person or feeling like the eye is being kept on you, waiting for some sort of secret to drop, feeling like there's something more, right? But again, some of this is a little bit of a self-sabotage, I feel like to your own happiness. Yeah, you're not really working on changing these old paradigms of, I've got to do everything myself. Okay. They want one more. Yeah, there we have it, Five of Pentacles, right? The key is right there for you to heal this you're just not at the place right now to do that. And again, spirit keeps saying, that's right. You're not at the place. Don't say anything. Don't do anything. Just rest. Okay, so future energy here. Completing the cycle. Eight of fire. Yeah, okay, there we have the cycle, right? It's beautiful. Page of wands. Um, finally being like, yes. Everything is coming up the way that I want it to. Here comes the real sun. The two of fire, right? Taking a leap of faith. Knowing that the universe has your back. Yeah, you're walking away from the sadness in the past. Bottom of the deck. There's your stability at home. Queen of Pentacles. Okay, Everything will balance out. So let's go ahead and see what we've got for you with the moon. All right. So what lessons came with this full moon for you? Okay. Show the world the real you. Okay. There's the full moon in Aquarius, right? It's being authentic to yourself. Look at the bigger picture and conclusions are within reach. Okay. Again, I feel like that eight of wands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Don't make the conclusion until the Eight of Wands comes because there's only seven wands, seven trees on this. And that Eighth Wand, okay, is the arrow in the justice, in the balancing. So you have to wait until you get that full picture, okay, before you are going to be able to have the clarification you need. Okay, let's go ahead and yeah, okay, see what else wants to come in for this. Tell me about the real you, okay, here. Yeah, again, right, the lovers, you're dealing with a divine partner here. And again, it's really showing me coming back to the past here, okay, where you wanted love and you got sex or you wanted sex and you got love. There were mixed signals, mixed communications. <clears throat> and in the end, you didn't really say or ask for what you really wanted. And so perhaps this last month, has been a very long month because it's falls right on the Ten of Wands. And so now you've shut down. Okay, now you've shut down and you're closed off. Because, right, we went from one full moon in Aquarius to another full moon in Aquarius. And all of the emotional toll that that took on you, 
of opening up and then not receiving, you have shut back down. Okay, so tell me more about the bigger picture. Yeah, okay, five of wands. This person would not be here with you if they didn't choose to. They're not trapped here. Okay, <laughs> again, five of pentacles. Maybe you feel trapped, okay? They don't feel trapped, but you could be pushing back now, feeling trapped. The conclusion here, right? Quit waiting for some sort of message to come in that you, it's like that you don't want to hear, right? This is, a lot of this is in your head. Nine of Swords. Yeah, you have to be patient about burying the past and you have to start working on your own healing here because now we've got right like four moons on either side and there's one centralized moon so i feel like on the other side of that full moon in aquarius as we move towards this new full moon like really work on yourself your energy your healing okay so let's see um no yeah okay what else does spirit want you to know okay about this moon energy okay again the moon is pulling out the healing for your soul. There's the two again. Okay. Two, two, two. You are on the right path. Okay. Do not fear this. And we've got the ace, the one, right? The ten, which is a one. So two and two. Okay. You are on the right path. Do not fear this. This is healing. Okay, let your heart heal. Yeah, and then we've got the four, which is two and two together, right? Allow yourself to let your heart heal and let in the all of this, right? To let this love heal whatever the miscommunication was, okay? Let yourself work through that. Bottom of the deck, look, there's 22. You can't make this shit up, right? Capricorn, I use, to me, Capricorn is, okay, the queen of pentacles. It is um, this energy of the rebirth into the unknown, Okay, you're moving towards this rebirth. So allow yourself that time. Tell me about what's going on emotionally here. Okay, for some of you, this is an embarrassment, right? Like you put yourself out there. You feel like you got embarrassed by putting yourself out there. And getting rejected in whichever way the miscommunication happened and that's why you're feeling bad right it brings up all of this old energy shame guilt regret okay anger betrayal okay that's all underlying emotions that you are still working through okay so what else does spirit want you to work on here? Okay. Yeah, shed the past, number two. <laughs> okay, the serpent is the south. Shed the past, okay? 
you now we've got again 22 shed the past here and I love this okay we've got the cave know that you're protected as you're going through this healing process and even your heart is protected and this is um 17 which is the energy of the moon but one in seven is eight and this is on venus which is four and four and four is eight right so you are getting again more of that energy of the twos know that you you don't have any worries okay what else are you working on here Okay. Yeah, you're opening up to that authentic self so that you can buy this next full moon. Okay? Be very gentle and loving with yourself and see love differently. Let this next full moon address the way that you're feeling trapped in love. Okay? Come in differently and really work on it okay eight of pentacles um really work on this illumination why do i feel this way right why am i trying to rush through this because nine of cups there is love offering okay there is a love offering coming and we also have on the bottom of the deck over here, there's the Lord of Cups, like somebody breaking open their heart. Maybe that's what's going to come to you that you, you know, aren't seeing yet. And it changes your decision. Two of Swords in reverse. Suddenly your decision is not hard. What you need to say is not complex. Okay, Two of Wands. Then you know your direction, right? Number 22 and the seven of wands. It will be what's best for you, okay? And for yours if you have a family, right? But page of cups, for a lot of you, it's a rebirth. But I feel like for a lot of you, it is new love, okay? So... bit more about this ace of cups yeah you've got to have yes the healthy boundaries but not so much that you stop anything from reaching you okay because that's kind of what you are doing the work here yeah it is about using the power of the moon, okay, angel number 44, to attract what you truly desire. You have to really work on the illumination. What is it that I actually really desire? Because what I sent out there into the universe wasn't quite what I wanted. I need to get clear in my head, okay? Because what's coming here right is the balance okay this illumination brings the happiness number 19 right the sun but where's the sun it's in your heart your heart center will know okay venus love you're waiting for the balance of the two spaces right so let's close it off with an oracle message Wow. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Kundalini rising. Some of you may feel, again, like your spine, your brain is on fire. Okay. Ignite your passion for life, but do not burn the bridges down. Okay. Take your time. Be gentle with yourself. Eternal union, new love is forming, okay? The 3D is going to have what the 5D has had here pretty soon. 
but you just have to have that patience, okay? And then there's the 11, okay? Dark night of the soul. Life brings new meaning. You're going through a hard journey here currently. Like I said, four of reverse cards in the current energies. Be gentle with yourself. Okay, on the other side of this is a very beautiful energy, but let yourself gently move into this. Okay, so I hope this helps you and I hope you guys have a very beautiful week. Okay, be gentle with yourselves. Bye.